Hello, Babettes. I'm getting a hamster. <laughs> So, this may be a little bit impulsive, but like only a little bit. I have been thinking about it for a few days. Here's a little story time. When I was like, I think I was 11, I was like, Dad, can I get a hamster? And he was like, heck no. And then I was like thinking like, what else could I get that could kind of like maybe be more reasonable to him? And so I somehow convinced my parents to let me get birds. And I had birds for... Up until like six months ago or so or maybe it was longer than that I don't really know um, I had birds for like five years I didn't really connect with them that well because they kind of hated me <laughs> they were cool and they were really really cute but they kind of just like I couldn't do anything with them and that made me really sad so <laughs> eventually they kind of started getting neglected and we gave them to somebody else who could love them a lot better I was happy that they are in a better home now but the other day my friend Zena was just kind of like you know i want a hamster and i was like you know me too so we we just kind of like started talking about it and she just got herself a hamster two days ago and i had already been like thinking about getting one too and so i went on like a rampage of researching so i kind of like spammed watched this one youtuber's videos victoria rachel she had a lot of great videos and she knows like a lot of our hamsters like i didn't know anybody just like knew that much about hamsters she's obviously very passionate and was very helpful and she totally knew what she was talking about in that i created this list of all that i need to buy for my future hamster and then i like talked it over with my dad and like you know asked if it was okay there's a few reasons I want one. One, they're like adorable. Two, they're actually, from what I have gathered, gonna be a lot cleaner of animals than my birds were and therefore like a lot easier to deal with. And thirdly, I think it's gonna be easier to tame and connect with a hamster. Fourthly, there's like a lot of therapeutic aspects about having a pet. And I know that like watching hamsters can be really stress relieving and if I end up getting like a really playful cuddly hamster, I know for myself that that will also just be really comforting to me. So those are like the main reasons I am going to do this. It's still a little, little bit, a little bit impulsive, but that's okay. So my plan is I'm going to get out of the house, which I'm really happy about. Um, so I'm going to go to the store first and run some errands. And then I'm going to go to Petco and get everything that I need. I have my whole list, you know? as you saw so i'm gonna get everything that i need and then i'm gonna bring it home set it all up and then later in the evening my dad is gonna go with me to go and actually buy the hamster because i can't buy one myself i'm 17 i'm not 18 and they won't let you buy a pet they won't let you buy a pet unless you're 18 so i'm gonna have my dad come with me for that and yeah then i will put him into his new home Give him a few days to just, you know, adapt. Let's go! <laughs> I also have an announcement for you guys, and that is that I got a new car. Let me show you guys. So this is Mandy. I'm going to be posting about her on my Instagram when I get Instagram back, but that's going to be a while. So for those of you Beppets, you get a sneak peek, and she is... I love her. I'm literally in love. Like the interior just makes me so freaking happy. So yes, this is Mandy and <laughs> literally is the love of my life. So <laughs> I'm off to the store to run my errands. Then we're going to go to Petco. Okay. I just ran my errands and I'm really, really sad because 
I was like carrying everything to my car and I kind of had a lot of stuff but I didn't want to like get a cart. So I, yeah, I was just carrying a lot and then my watermelon fell out and broke and half of it like spilled on the floor. I'm upset. It's fine. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna head over to Petco. It is right there. This is gonna be a spoiled hamster. That was like one of the most embarrassing experiences of my life. That Petco worker was so nice. I had so much freaking stuff. Like I don't, I didn't really get that much more than was on my list, but I swear I must have. Oh my gosh, the poor guy like came and helped me put the thing in the back of my car and like the back of my car is not big enough. I didn't really anticipate that. I like thought it would be fine. <laughs> And so we, he had to stand out here with me for like 10 minutes trying to configure the whole car and oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed, but we got it to work and I'm just gonna go home now. <laughs> okay, so here's the dealio. I was gonna like vlog that entire adventure and like have cute little like Petco montage, but there was a lot of people talking to me in there. I assume they just didn't really have anything better to do, you know, cause like nobody was in the store. So I kind of just didn't really have an opportunity for that, unfortunately. This is all of the stuff I got. It's kind of randomly sprawled out, so you can't really see it all. I decided, ooh, I decided I'm gonna give a little haul of all that I bought. So it's kind of all wrangled. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, but <laughs> I got this. They're like wood chips. I also got this. I think I also got some hay because I've heard that putting some hay in there can help stabilize their little burrows. And I got this 12 inch little wheel. I got this water drink holder and this water thing goes inside. I got food. This is rat and mouse food technically, but um, you have to like mix two different kinds of food because people who make hamster food don't put all of the things that they actually need inside of it, which is just really, really nice of them. I got this bendable bridge. I got these adorable little chews. They're little number blocks and I'm like in love. I got this hideout. I got this little hideout. This one's a lot smaller. I felt like it would be good for him to have options. This I actually got in the reptile section, but it's going to be the little sand bath. I think it's super cute. Got these little treats. Got a hamster ball. Pretty cute. And I got these little toys. These chews. I wanted them to have a couple options of chews. These two little food dishes. I thought it would be nice to have two. To have like one for normal food and then one for if I want to put like a yummy fruit treat in there or something. So yeah, that is everything. And I have to take off the packaging on this. Okay, time for the reveal. Over here, we have this awesome spinny wheel for him to run on. Here we have his food. We have lots of these chew toys dispersed throughout. We have this hideout, we have this hideout, which is also a bendable bridge. This is his sand bath and water dispenser. And this is like his burrowing area. Guys, meet Pete. <laughs> he's so freaking cute. He's a teddy bear hamster, so he's like super soft and fluffy. And he 
He's been exploring for the past few minutes. He's so freaking cute. I can't. I'm literally in love. Like, what? He's asleep now, so as far as I can tell, at least he's kind of huddled in the corner. Um, for now, yeah, I'm just gonna let him do his thing. Peek! <laughs> You're doing okay there, buddy. Do it again. No, he's I'm having his bath right now. <laughs> I want him to do his head again. <laughs> He's getting a good workout in. What you doing there, bud? Are you getting into trouble? I really hope he can't escape from that. <laughs> Where is he? He's on his, he's on his wheel. I just thought I would end out the filming of this vlog. This is a very awkward angle. I want Pete to be in it. From me and Pete, we are so glad you came. I think this is like one of the best impulsive decisions I've ever made and I'm not the least bit regretting it. So I'm like so happy. He's I've literally just been sitting here watching him and I'm going to come out with a video about how I'm going to be taming him and the whole process of that. So keep your eye out for that. Thank you so much on coming on this adventure with me. He's literally the cutest thing ever and I just... I'm in love with him. So Pete says thanks too. Hope you all have a great day. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up so that you can see the new videos I'm going to be coming out with. Bye.